the entire media very upset that Florida has decided you're not allowed to indoctrinate kids in the bullcrap known as gender theory. You're not allowed to do this from K to three. Hey, and, and the entire left says, how dare you do this? It's just terrible. It's just terrible. How could you do this? How could Florida do this? They're saying, don't say gay. How, da- how dare they do all of this? And it's not even relevant, say the left. And what, I mean, why would you even do this? We're not doing this at school. No, you are doing this at school. You are clearly doing this at school. According to the new 2022, 2022, New Jersey state sexual education guidelines. They now include gender identity instruction for elementary schoolers. One lesson plan, purple, pink, and blue, according to Fox News, instructs teachers to talk to first graders about gender identity. The first objective is to have the students be able to define gender, gender identity, and gender role stereotypes. The lesson's second objective is to have student name at least two things they've been taught about gender role stereotypes and how those things may limit people of all genders. Gender identity is that feeling of knowing your gender. You might feel like you're a boy. You might feel like you're a girl, the lesson plan states. You might feel like you're a boy, even if you have body parts that some people might tell you are girl parts. You might feel like you're a girl, even if you have body parts that some people might tell you are boy parts. Some people might tell you a penis is a boy part, but it's not, according to New Jersey public schools. I mean, this is sick and perverse kind of stuff. It really is. And it is promoted by the media and it is promoted by interest groups who continue to dominate the political spectrum. For example, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation put out a tweet, March 10th, 2022, quote, corporations need to be held accountable for their silence on anti-LGBTQ bills in states where they do business. That's why we are updating our studio responsibility index to hold Hollywood accountable. In other words, unless major entertainment media continue to mirror the precepts of the radical left, they will be targeted by interest groups and the media will help them in that targeting. Remember, it was places like Glad that were targeting Disney and the media immediately went along with it, calling up, where do you guys stand at Disney? As a big employer in the state of Florida, where do you guys stand on the Florida, quote unquote, don't say gay bill? They bullied Disney into taking a ridiculous stance against parents and against kids. And Disney, because it's filled with cowards, promptly did that. There's new tape that's now emerging from that all hands meeting over at Disney, in which Bob Chapek, who leads Disney, just abjectly groveled in front of his employees. I've read many emails that have been sent, spoken with LGBTQ plus employees and their allies, met with advocacy groups and convened my own leadership team. And I have been taken by the honesty, the openness and the urgency of their stories. I want you to know that your words have made a real impact on me. I understand that we've made mistakes and the pain that those mistakes have caused. And I know that our silence wasn't just about the bill in Florida, but about every time an individual or institution that should have stood up for this community did not. I and the leadership team are determined to use this moment as a catalyst for more meaningful and lasting change. Pathetic malice struggle sessions dictated by the media, pushed forward by the media, pushed forward by interest groups in the media, which are basically a merger with the Democratic Party. It's pathetic. By the way, Disney, I mean, they are so far down the rabbit hole. Disney employee Latoya Ravenu, who you'll remember from suggesting that she was inserting a quote unquote, not at all secret gay agenda into programming at the Walt Disney Company for Children. She also explained that she wants to educate kids about all forms of sexual minorities, including quote unquote, biromantic asexuals like her. Now, if you can explain what a biromantic asexual is, congratulations to you. You have a degree in sociology from a crap state university. But apparently this is now a thing, a biromantic asexual. Okay, well, apparently she identifies as one, biromantic, but not sexual, just emotionally romantic, but is a minority and thus put upon. And now you as a child need to know about it. Maybe you'll have your own flag. It's really exciting. Here's Latoya Ravino. I identify as like a biromantic asexual. I've had a lot of learning and growing about myself this year, kind of facilitated by how comfortable I felt on the Proud family and with my immediate team at Disney TVA, it feels like the things that we believe that we're trying to put into the shows are not what we're seeing in the real world. And yeah, it it leaves you in a weird space. No, we're trying to, we're trying to put it in the shows. It's not the stuff we're seeing, but it's the stuff we're trying to put in the show. Again, this is all about a group of adults who are attempting to pervert the minds of children in order to make themselves feel better. That's what this really is about. This is why they are targeting children in the first place. And it's not just Disney, by the way, it's Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon spent the quote unquote international trans day of visibility trying to indoctrinate kids because this is whom they're targeting, trying to indoctrinate kids in the idea that little boys can be little girls and vice versa. They did so by featuring a little boy who believes he's a little girl 
It's just this horrifying stuff from children's programming. And of course, the media love every element of it. In honor of International Transgender Day of Visibility, meet Time and Nickelodeon's 2021 Kid of the Year finalist, Rebecca Brusehoff. Growing up in the LGBTQ plus community has given me a different perspective on how I see the world. Trans kids are so much more than their gender identity and it's so important for people to listen to kids. I wish for a world where everyone can be lifted up and celebrated. So today and every day, we celebrate those who are helping others realize that everyone should be proud of what makes them who they are. Okay, except if, if what makes you who you are is your actual biological sex, then Nickelodeon is going to is going to reach out to your children and tell them they can be a member of the opposite sex. This is the media promulgating bad, false information, promulgating lies, euphemisms. This is what they do. And this is why people don't trust the media anymore, nor should they trust the media, because the media are hot garbage in this country. They've been hot garbage for a very long time. It's why the legacy media are falling away and why if you are subscribed to a legacy media outlet, you should really think about pulling your subscription today because they do a horrific job of actually presenting truth and an excellent job of presenting propaganda on behalf of their perceived political allies. How's this for a title? Ben Shapiro Show subscriber destroys like button with clicks and logic. I'd watch that. Make it happen, gang.